Welcome to Electron Line. Here, let's talk about the properties of congruence as needed for proof. So we're kind of singling out properties of congruence, and in specific, as they apply to line segments and angles, and also, in particular, right angles. So first, what we can say is, if line segment AB is congruent to line segment CB, what that implies is that the length of segment AB equals the length of segment CD. It doesn't matter which way the lines are oriented, it simply means that their lengths are the same. Then we can also say that if angle 1 is congruent to angle 2, then we can claim that the measure of angle 1 must equal to the measure of angle 2. And so that's the beauty of the concept of congruence. If segments are congruent, then we know they're the same length. If angles are congruent, then we know that their measure must be equal. In particular, if we then apply this to vertical angles, angles with an angle of 90 degrees, then we can say if angle 1 and angle 2 are vertical angles, we can conclude the following two things. First of all, they must be congruent. All vertical angles are congruent to one another, and that also implies that their measure is equal to 90 degrees. If we then say that the measure of angle 1 is equal to 90 degrees, and measure of angle 2 is equal to 90 degrees, then we can conclude that, first of all, they are congruent, because they have the same measure, and secondly, they are right angles, because that's the conclusion we can draw when their measure equals 90 degrees. So those concepts of congruency for angles and line segments come in very handy when we try to prove things in geometry. So again, a good thing to commit these to memory as well. Remember, it's all about learning the language of geometry and how it works when we do proofs in geometry.